Now, how many of you have been to the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Anybody? Were they letting people up in it? Okay, so you got to go up to the top there? I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Okay, I went when I was eight years old. Uh, my dad was stationed in Germany, and we visited there. And, and, and I, was, I was a little nervous about going up in that Leaning Tower. Fortunately, my dad was just cheap enough that there was no way he was going to pay to take a bunch of kids up there. So I didn't have to go. Now, you all know the famous story that Galileo, the great scientist, is supposed to have gone up there with two rocks, one little rock, one big rock, and dropped them, and they land at the same time. Now, we don't think, scientists don't think, that Galileo actually did that experiment. I'll explain why in a moment. But we can do that experiment um, here, only we're going to do it with a rubber ball and a feather, and you'll see that they drop at exactly the same rate. Okay, you want to see that again? Okay. At exactly the same rate. Now, clearly what's going on here is that there's air resistance that's slowing down the feather. So we're going to get rid of that air resistance by pumping the air out of here. That's going to take a little bit of time. So why don't you get to know your neighbor? Find out what they are going to do this weekend. outer space. Now, people, if you were homeschooled and if your parents taught you that we never went to the moon, that instead it was all done in a movie theater uh, sta uh, studio, um, just ignore this part, okay? <laughs> Don't doubt your parents. <coughs> but we left stuff there. It's still up there. I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, with my left hand, I have a, a feather, and my right hand, a hammer. I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon? And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. And the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather, or a falcon, and I'll uh, drop the two of them here, and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I love that he sounds so surprised. Whoa! Who knew? Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, now, I suggested that Galileo didn't actually climb the stairs of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and that's because Galileo was famous for his thought experiments, his Gedanken experiments. And uh, we have in his notes the description of one such Gedanken experiment. He suggested that if you took three identical rocks, and that's what rocks look like in, in Italy, very <laughs> regular, 
If those rocks are identical, he argued, there's no reason to suspect that one would land first. They would all land at the same time. He then argued that if they're all going at the same speed at the same time, putting two of them next to each other wouldn't change anything. That all still land at the same time. And then he argued that if a spider were to spin a web between those two, or if we were to use super glue, they were moving next to each other anyway. They were always going to be side by side as they fell. What's the web going to hurt? Or what's the super glue going to hurt? And now we have a large rock and a small rock, and they land at exactly the same time. Because he did this thought experiment, he didn't have to climb those stairs. There was no reason to do the actual experiment and have to worry about someone's... No, you know, I, I think the big rock landed a little first, you know, a little sooner. Um, that's why we think he didn't do it. 